Hello. Today we are going to be talking about a very popular linear time sorting algorithm that is bin sort or even known as bucket sort. So let's get started. Here is an implementation of bucket sort or bin sort. First we, we go through one pass of the array and find the min and the, and the max values. In this case the min is 0 0.45 and the max is 4.33 after that you can find out the range for each bucket that in this case is 1.293 now we go through the array in another pass and we categorize these elements in the respective buckets that is so 4.33 goes in the last one Now that we have categorized these buckets, we sort them. First, we do the first bucket. Once that is sorted, we will move on to the next bucket. And finally, the third and the last. Now we have three buckets and all of them are sorted. To get the final sorted array, we simply extract these values from the buckets in, a, in the order. And this right here is our sorted array. Another easy technique that we can implement in bucket sort so that we don't have to sort the buckets later is we can use insertion sort to insert these elements into the buckets themselves so an example is here we put in 1.02 4.33 and for 0 0.45 goes in the first bucket so we use insertion sort so the 1.22 goes down 0 0.45 comes here for 2.99 that goes in the second bucket that is empty 4.2 the same thing we sort it while inserting it for 3 again and for 2.45 that goes in the first and again when we extract these elements in order what we have here is the final sorted array one case where bucket sort does not perform well is when we have extremes. In this example, we have values ranging from about 0 to about 4. And we have one extreme that is 12.45. Due to this extreme, the range is 4 where it should be around 1 to 2. Now we go ahead and categorize these elements to their respective buckets. As we can see, due to the range being so high, all of the elements go into the first bucket. The second bucket remains at zero elements and the third bucket has the extreme. Due to this, bucket sort becomes ineffective and whichever sorting method you use to sort this bucket will be the worst case complexity. Here is an implementation of bucket sort in Python. First, we find out the min and the max value of the array and calculate the range for each bucket. Then, for every element in the array, we put, we put them in their respective buckets. Lastly, we sort every bucket and then extract the elements to give out the final sorted array. Here is how the code runs. Now, we can completely get rid of this step that is where we sort the buckets individually. We can do this by defining a function insert that uses the logic from ins insertion sort. That way, if we run it, we can see that the bucket is already sorted. A few points that I would like to note are, bucket sort is not an in-place algorithm. Also, bucket sort is not a stable algorithm. 
it has a time complexity of big O of n plus k and a space complexity big O of nk. Thank you.